Hey guys, this is Peach Bootstraps and welcome back to another 2D top down RPG tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna add enemies so when you get close to them, they'll come up to you and it'll go to a battle screen. First, what you wanna do is create a 2D object, we'll create a sprite. Let's call it following enemy. Let's add a sprite to it. Move it right here. First, we're gonna add a circle collider. And make the radius, you can make whatever you want, I'm just going to make it 1, seems good. We're going to add a script to our character, so go to add component and we'll call it follow player. Okay, so now we've got this opened up. First we're going to add a bool, private bool called tr check trigger. We'll add a float called speed and a transform called target because I made a public transform we can drag things there like this so I'll just make this player inside the start function we need to call what target means so target equals game object dot find game object with tag player because we want it to follow up player dot get component transform Whoops, gotta get rid of this S. Now in the un update function, we want to do if check trigger is true, then transform. We're gonna change the position of this equals vector to dot move towards. So it'll move towards whatever we're about to call transform dot position target dot position speed times time dot delta time so basically we're setting it so that the position of our enemy is going to move towards the position of our target since it's an update function it'll just constantly keep moving towards them but what we want to do is if the player is inside the collider circle collider of the enemy then the enemy will follow them so that they can trigger the battle screen. So we're going to create a function for colliding into the trigger. So void on trigger enter 2D collider 2D other if other name equals player. So if we're inside the collider and the tag is player and we tagged our player as player so check trigger is true and when it's true it'll start moving towards it but if our player moves outside of the trigger then it'll keep moving towards him so we need to make it so if we're outside of that then it'll stop he'll stop moving towards us void on trigger exit instead of enter to the collider to the other then if other dot name player then check trigger equals false so basically what we did was we added a bool so we can ch check if we're inside the trigger or not we added a float so we can control the speed of the enemy we added a public transform target which means so we can drag in what we want the enemy to follow if that game object is inside of the trigger. In our start function we define what target is and target is find game object with tag player so only if the tag is player will it follow. If check trigger is true then transform dot position equals vector to dot move towards pretty much saying the enemy is going to move towards the position of the player and the speed is speed times time dot delta time and we can control that speed because we got the float right there. And then, so if we're in the collider, then check trigger is true. And then once we're outside of it, then check trigger is false. So let's test this out right here. One thing I forgot we need to do, we need to check is trigger. So then we can go inside the collider. And we also need to add speed to our character. So we'll just make it one. So let's test this out. Let's, there we go. Oh, we messed up somewhere. Let's see. Oh, forgot to capitalize on. And we need to check this D. Let's save it. Now let's test out our project. Here we go. When you're inside the collider, he'll follow you. 
In the next tutorial, I'll probably have it so when the enemy touches the player, then the battle screen will come up and we'll and we'll start getting into the battle part of our RPG tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Please let me know what you want to see next. If you like this video, please make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content.